Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up Google Analytics on your Squarespace site. This is a super simple thing you can do. Um, it's only going to take you a couple of minutes and it's a great way to start tracking the performance of your website and um, being able to measure against goals you set. Um, if you need or want to learn more about Google Analytics, there's a lot of information available out there online or you can check out my website, builditsociety.com. Um, so let's get started. First um, thing you're going to need to do is go to google.com slash analytics. Um, if you already have a Gmail account or a Google Plus account, you can log into Google Analytics using that account. Um, if you don't already have one, you'll need to set one up before you can begin. So when you arrive on this page in the upper right hand corner, there's a button that says access Google Analytics. And if you're already logged in to your Google account, you'll see this button. If you're not logged into Google or if you don't have a Google account, you'll need to either log in or um, sign up for an account before you will see this button. And this button will just be replaced with links to either sign in or sign up for an account. So that'll be easy for you to see. Um, since I am already logged in, I'm just going to click the Access Google Analytics button. Um, and I'm brought right to the home dashboard here. So as you can see, I already have analytics set up on a couple of my sites. Um, we're going to create a new sample site for this tutorial. So next thing you're going to need to do is go to the admin tab and click create new account in the account drop down. So here's where you're going to fill out all your account information for your website. And I'm just going to put in some sample information here. Um, we'll call it sample account. Fill in your website URL or your blog URL or whatever you're wanting to set up analytics for. You can optionally set an industry category. You'll set your time zone. And then you can, down here at the bottom, this is just where you're electing to send some data to Google about your um, Google Analytics usage and your site stats um, that they use for different reasons. You can choose what you want to do there. Once you have this all filled out, click here at the bottom to get your tracking ID, agree to the terms of service, and then you will be brought to this tracking ID page. Um, so a couple quick notes about Google Analytics and Squarespace. So um, Squarespace has a built-in integration for Google Analytics, and it um, if you want to use the built-in integration, all you're going to need is this tracking ID. I would caution you against using the built-in integration, though, because Google just came out with the next iteration of their analytics product called Universal Analytics, and the built-in Squarespace Analytics integration doesn't support Universal Analytics. So if you want to use the latest and greatest analytics product from Google, you're going to need to copy this tracking code. Um, and I'll show you exactly how to do this um, as well. So I recommend going with Universal Analytics for sure. Um, it's going to give you more robust data and some other interesting features you can read about online if you're interested in, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Um, the other thing to note is if, you're, if you are a Squarespace user already, you may be familiar with um, the, the built-in Squarespace metrics. That is not Google Analytics. Like when you go to your, log into your Squarespace account and on the left-hand side click the Metrics tab, you'll see some metrics there. That's, a, that's also an analytics uh, service or, or product, but that's not Google Analytics. I prefer Google Analytics. I think it's definitely a bit more robust um, and a little bit more flexible. There's a lot of advanced options available in Google Analytics that aren't available in Squarespace metrics. And I also prefer the Google Analytics mobile app over the Squarespace, um, mobile, Squarespace metrics mobile app. Um, you can just get a lot more information out of it and it's more detailed. And um, I would recommend using Google Analytics. And even if the Squarespace metrics satisfy your needs today, I would still recommend going ahead and at least putting the an Google Analytics tracking code in your website. So as you grow and if you ever do need 
um, more robust metrics, you'll have already been gathering them from the start, even if you're not going to use them today. So just something to think about. Um, anyway, back to the tutorial. What you're going to do is grab this script, just copy that out, and then go to your Squarespace account. I'm already logged into mine. And you're going to click Settings on the bottom and then go into Advanced. So I mentioned earlier that um, sorry, Squarespace has a built-in Google Analytics uh, link. And if you want to use that, you'll click the External Services tab and paste your Google Analytics account number, also called a tracking ID, into this box here. Um, double check before you proceed in the tutorial that there isn't already something listed here. If there is, you're going to want to clear it out. So back on the advanced tab, click code injection and paste your tracking code into the header section at the top. And that's it. You'll click save and now you're, uh, within 12 to 24 hours, your analytics will start appearing in your Google Analytics dashboard. And to see those, we'll go back to the Google Analytics, click home, click into your account, and then just click all website data. And this is the dashboard um, where you will be able to see all the great analytics information about your site. And again, it's blank now, but within 12 to 24 hours, it will start populating. So that's the tutorial. Feel free to ask any questions. Check out my blog again at builditsociety.com and send any um, questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Bye.